Hey, what's up guys, Saha Man back with another figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Walmart exclusive DC Comics Multiverse Batman The Dark Knight Returns Batman 30th Anniversary figure. So it says right here, Batman The Dark Knight Returns, you have a really cool kind of like a goldish color uh, writing right here for um, the 30th anniversary and then right up on the next to it You got the image of Batman from the Dark Knight Returns comic you have Batman right here in the window now this body if you guys own this version of Batman, I'll show you guys right here Which I believe is the same body mold. I think it is it's the masters of the universe body mold But this is another um, version that Mattel gave us from the Dark Knight Returns if you guys don't have this one but um, that's not the one we're looking at today. So you got the box packaging, just like you know the new multiverse figures that we're getting. So you have a really cool kind of goldish color image right here of, um, of Batman, if you guys can see that right there. And nothing on this side. Right here on the back, it says the 30th anniversary. So there's Batman. And then also there's two other figures in this series. And that is going to be Superman and Son of Batman. Now these are Walmart exclusive guys. So make sure you guys head over to your local Walmarts. Um, if I find Superman, of course I'm gonna get him. If not, I'm in no rush, but I do wanna get Son of Batman. That guy looks really cool. But yeah, so let's that's the packaging on this right here. Let's go ahead and open this up, guys. I'm really anxious to see this figure. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so here's a quick little 360 look at the Dark Knight Returns Batman figure. A pretty cool looking figure. Let's take a closer detailed look at Batman. So the only accessory you guys are gonna get with this figure is this um, rubberish, soft rubber, you know, blue batarang. There's no real detail on it. We did get this in the other version of the Dark Knight Returns that Mattel gave us, but that's all you guys are gonna be getting with this figure. So here we have Batman out of the package, ready to go. So you have the um, head sculpt right here, which doesn't look too bad. He's got kind of like a serious looking face. You can see some of the wrinkles from the eyebrows and the upper forehead right there through the mask. He does have the short, ears you know similar to just like he does in the comic the whole square jaw this is a stockier version of batman because he obviously he's an older version of batman but um overall the head sculpt looks good not too much of a uh, paint problems on this figure i got a little bit of a chip right there you can see on the left hand side but it looks good you have the bat emblem right here which is not sculpted on it's just painted you can see that right there but it's got the um yellow oval uh logo right there with the black bat and he's got the very muscular body. Again, this is from the um, Masters of the Universe body mold that they're using. And again, he's a really buff Batman. I mean, look how big those arms are. Got the gauntlets right there. The Batarang, you can just, you know, slide in there however you want to put it. It, it does read right there, China on the Batarang. But, you know, that's no big deal. And then you have the utility belt right there. You can see all the little compartments on there. They look pretty good. He's got the blue trunks. And then right here on the back, you got the blue trunks as well. And the um, more, you know, little compartments from the utility belt. The cape is a soft rubber cape. I do like this cape. Um, I like the cloth capes, but on some figures, this does work for me. The uh, soft rubber, you know, capes on some. I like them on the, the Mattel figures. They do a, a good job in like the sculpting and the wrinkles and stuff. So you can see how long the cape is right there. There's the inside part of it. And you have the very muscular quads of this figure and the blue boots. It's got a little bit of detail on them. Not too bad at the bottom right there. He's got the peg holes, but the peg holes are located at the front, like in the ball of the foot. Very uh, different from what I'm used to. But again, this is a very, very uh, nice little stocky figure. He is a mold from the Masters of the Universe. And I heard a rumor, I don't know if it's true, if... Mattel's gonna be using these molds now for a lot of their figures. You guys can let me know in the comments below. But in the way of Batman's articulation, the head can rotate, it goes up and down. He's got a good range of motion. You can see that right there. You can kind of tilt the head side to side as well. The arm isn't a ball joint, so it goes in and out, forward and back, a bend at the elbow, upper arm rotation. The hand can rotate as well. It's got an ab crunch, rotation at the waist, the legs do go in and out, pretty good. Forward and, uh, it doesn't go forward. Well, if you turn the joint around, you can probably get the foot to go forward and back more. It's got a bend at the knee, upper leg rotation, and the lower foot, 
has rotation right here, like the lower part of the leg, and the foot can go up and down, and that's about it for articulation on this Batman figure. And you can see from the first version that we got from Mattel of the Dark Knight Returns Batman, you can see it does share the same body mold, and it even comes with the same uh, type of Batarang you can see right there, but this is from the Batman Unlimited line. Head sculpt is different, and it's a different color, obvious outfit, Batman logo, so um, Mattel's giving us a couple different versions from the Dark Knight Returns. Here's Batman right here, standing next to the mutant leader. So I think it's a pretty decent size comparison. Batman just might be a little bit too bulky though for this figure, but this the one on the right is by Mezco. I have this horse right here from, uh, this is actually from Toy Biz's Lord of the Rings. And if you guys want to, you know, display Batman with a horse, because in The Dark Knight Returns, he does ride a horse in the comic. And the Mezco figure actually works with this too, but you can see the comparison. This actually fits with this um, horse right here. Yeah, the guys, there's my review. Today we're taking a look at the DC Comics Multiverse Batman The Dark Knight Returns Batman figure from the 30th anniversary. This is made by Mattel. Again, this is a Walmart exclusive figure, so make sure you head over to Walmart and find this figure. It's a really, really cool figure. If you missed out on the first version that Mattel did, but it's the um, more of the, it's the black and gray outfit. Now you can get this one here. Same body mold, guys, just different color outfit, different um, sculpting as far as the uh, Batman logo and the different head sculpt. Still a great figure. I do recommend you guys pick them up. Any Batman fan is going to want this. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments down below. Hit that like button. We'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace.